here we go. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, I have this box of night crawlers and you guys already know what's about to go down. <laughs> Let's take a look at these guys. Oh yeah. So today we're going to be putting a worm in each of my tanks and we're going to see which of my animals will actually eat a worm. I'm going to try and find the smallest guy because these are all pretty big as you can tell. Alright, this one's probably the smallest, but I'm also going to split this guy. And there we go, that guy is split. It's the proper size worm. Oh, <laughs> one of them jumped out. Put him back in, put the lid on. And now we're going to rinse this guy down so I don't get a bunch of unnecessary dirt in my tanks. No! Oh no. <laughs> I got it. We're now gonna close that. Now we can continue rinsing this guy off and he should be good. I almost lost him there. So the first tank we're gonna look at is the 10 gallon tank. I have the worm right here. Killer's back behind that plant. And we're just gonna drop this guy in, see what happens. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> He is attacking that thing. Look at him, look at him. He's got like half of it down. All right guys, I was honestly not expecting him to attack it like that, but he sure did. He <laughs> He really went for it. But next up, we're gonna come over to the African clawed frog. He's actually up there behind the filter. That's where he usually is. But for this guy, I'm actually going to take him out of this tank and put him in a smaller container because with these African clawed frogs, you really have to put the food right in their face. And being in such a big tank, that'll be nearly impossible to do because he'll just swim away from it. I have this little Tupperware. I'm just going to fill that with tank water. That's enough. We don't need to go nearly all the way. Got him. Put him in here. And there we go. All right guys, there is the frog. Here is the worm. And let's see if he'll take it. Oh, 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 he's doing it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my, oh look at it poking out in the stomach. And it's gone, oh my. He swallowed it all. <laughs> that was really cool. He literally destroyed that worm, but now we're gonna put him back in his tank. Come here, buddy. Got him. There he goes, oh, right into the pineapple. The frog is back in his tank. He's looking super fat right now. But now the last tank we have left to do, as you all know, the 55 gallon aquarium. For this one, I'm going to put in a worm for the fish and then I'm going to try and hand feed Sheldon a worm. He's all rinsed off and here we go. Oh, 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 That's crazy how he like spazzes out with it.
Oh, here comes Sheldon. As you can see, Sheldon is waiting his turn. So while that catfish is working on the worm, I'm going to drop a way smaller one in for Sheldon. Guys, while I was getting, oh crap. While I was getting this worm ready to give to Sheldon, he found the one that was already in there. Oh my goodness. I was gonna give him a smaller piece, but he, he he insisted on the big one. Oh, the Colombian Tetra's trying to get some too. Oh, he just spat it all out. Oh my, that was nasty. And there it goes. <laughs> Sheldon, come out from behind there. I, all I can see is your butt. Oh wow, he had to breathe, so he's actually still holding it in his hand, <laughs> and he went up for a breath. <laughs> How is he holding? <laughs> Dude, what a legend. Oh, and he just let it go. Oh, oh. So it looks like Sheldon ate as much as he wanted of that worm. And with that, I am going to end this video. This was probably one of my favorite videos to film. It was way more exciting than I thought it was going to be. So if you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button. Join the Fish King by hitting that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And I am going to see you in the next video.